everyone. Hi, community. It is Sandra here, um, coming to you from the lovely Karagara Island in Queensland. All right, so there has been a lot of um, members who are in the stage of building their website. All right, so I'll try and hurry this along. And a lot of you have been asking, um, you know, is there a way you can turn the website off until you finish building it? Okay. Now, there's a way you can build it um, without actually switching it off because you can't switch your website off. You need it live to build it. Okay. So there's a way you can set up WordPress. Um, and I'm going to show you the easy way to do it because, I mean, there are functions in this particular setup for you to set up a coming soon mode, a maintenance mode. But I'm going to show you a manual, easy way to do it. So no matter what setup, what theme you use in the future, because you might create more websites and you might not use this particular layout. So I'm going to show you a manual way that you can create a coming soon page on your website for any WordPress website anywhere around um, wherever you're building it. Okay, so let's get down to it. So you can create an under construction page, you can create a coming soon page. It's entirely up to you how you do it. All right. But the first thing you want to do is log into your website. So you'll go into your um, into your mentors into your dbl tool suite my sites then you'll come to here then you'll go to um click on actions and then you'll go to admin auto login that will bring you into your site now the next thing you want to do is you want to scroll like you want to come to pages and you want to go to add new right so either click there or click here it doesn't really matter they both do the same thing you won't have as many pages as me okay i've been using this website as a training website um to help different members out with different questions so I have way too many pages to even talk about <laughs> so you know let's just not worry about that okay <laughs> so um, let's just call this an under construction page shall we Right, or you can call it maintenance, or you can call it coming soon, whatever you want, right? It's entirely up to you. You don't have to worry. Now, the next thing you want to do is come down here um, and you'll just want to um, go no sidebar here. Like a lot of themes won't have this option, so don't worry about it. Um, but with this theme, you do have that option. So, you know, we're going to use this. So we're going to use the builder of this theme, okay? Okay. Um, and we're going to come into disable site title. You can do it just here, right? You can just create the page just here if you want to. It's not hard to do. Um, and I'm going to click uh, publish on this page. So I've got everything done. Yes, I'm going, actually, I'm going to disable the header. I'm going to disable the footer. So I don't want a footer bar. I don't want a header bar and I don't want a title. Um, and I'm going to click publish. So I hope you got all of that. And we are publishing. Wow, my internet is really slow. Hey. Um, all right, so let's click on DBL Site Builder and let's go into Site Builder and build this page. Very simple page to build. Alrighty, so we're opening up. Wonderful. Okay, so all I want to do with this is I just want to go to rows and I just want to drag a row across. One row is all I, I really want. I'm just going to drop it there, drag it across and drop it. Then I'm going to scroll over the top of this here and I'm going to put this here. I click on the spanner here, the outer box. So you seen what I did there, didn't you? So let me just cancel that. Okay, my internet is a bit slow. There we go, cancelled it. So I scrolled over it and see how you get two boxes? You got the, this is the box for the inner row. This is the box for the outer row. So we're going to click on the spanner. We want to stretch this out as far as we can get it. So we're going to go to here.
and we're going to go to full width and then we're going to go to full width here and then we're going to go here and we are going to go to advanced and we are going to go padding here 400 and at the bottom so the top box I went 400 bottom box I'm going to go 400 as well we go I shall might reduce the top box might bring it down a little bit go 100 there we go 150 we might go 150 in the top box okay and 400 in the bottom box okay that pushes this box up a little bit higher and then I'm just going to save this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here and I am going to click on here and I'm going to go to modules and I'm going to use a text editor module and I'm going to get that. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it in there. And this is where I can write whatever I want. Okay, so I can put, you know, Uh, please come back. So what are we? You know, we're in the beginning of October. So I'm going to give myself a two-week time frame to build this. So I'm going to put come back at the end of October. Um, come, um, come back. Actually, two weeks isn't the end of October. Please come back. There we go. So I'm going to separate some of this. I'm going to um, make some of it bigger. So I'm going to highlight this here and I'm going to make it bigger okay. and I'm going to center all of this. I'm going to get rid of the end and I'm going to go we and I'm going to pop that down there I'm going to give that a couple capital I'm going to give that a capital C so you see how I'm just using the options that I've got in here right so um, then I'm going to um, increase the size of that so I'm going to take that up to probably an 1820 and I'm going to make all of this here a 20 and I'm going to make this a little bit larger than the 20 make it a 22 I'm going to make this a bit bigger again
And I'm going to bold this one out. Okay. And then I'm just going to save this, right? I'm just going to save all of this. And then I'm going to go up here for the moment and I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to save as a draft. My internet's a bit slow, so you're not seeing it in real time. So that's why I've saved it as a draft, because now that I've saved it as a draft, once it finishes loading um, and it comes back into the page, you'll be able to see it. So, And then I'm going to go DBL Site Builder. And there you go, as you can see there, got some stuff happening. Now what I want to do is I want to put a nice image behind um, all of this to show that it's in construction. So I'm going to go to here um, and actually, no, I, I don't need that. I'm going to scroll over the outer one of this. So I need um, this box down here. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to do some rearranging in here. I'm going to um, make the image a bit smaller. I don't want such a big, big, large image. So I'm going to come into advanced and I'm going to drop this one down to oh, 200. and 50. Um, there we go, 250. All right, so I'm going to come back to here to the front and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for the background. Here we go, background. So I've got nothing in the background at the moment. So I'm going to go to here and I want to add a photo. So I'm going to click on photo. Then I'm going to scroll down here. I'm I'm going to, because I want to search in the media library, so I want to make sure that that says media library. And then I want to click on select photo. So I'm going to click on select photo. Now, I don't have a construction image photo or anything here. I mean, you could easily go to Google search and you could just, you know, type in under construction and search for a photo there. So you could easily go, you know, under construction. But um, with this setup, we don't need to do that. Uh, with this setup, it's a great setup. We can go into free images from Pixabay and I can put um, here, I might put um, construction. And let's see what it comes up with. Alrighty, so that one's pretty cool. I like that one. That one's sort of okay. This one's pretty good. But what I might do is I might go, just to save time, I might go with this one here. And I'm going to save and insert that. And there you go. So <laughs> I've got this pretty cool photo here, right? Um, I could go a little bit higher up the top here so I can move this around. 
by just dragging it left or right, right? So, you know, so I've got this here. Um, I mean, I could probably push it down a little bit, um, play around with it. Goes down okay. But, I mean, you know, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I could easily go into here. I can go to advanced and I can, you know, push this one here to 200 as well. So I could go like this. Go actually. And, you know, and then, oh, oops. oh there we go. And then, you know, that makes the image a little bit smaller. And, you know, this guy comes down there. But it also pushes the writing down as well. So I would have to increase this here. So that the writing comes up a little bit. So there's the writing there. And I'm going to need, need an overlay as well, right? So I'm going to drop this back down here to 100. There we go. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to leave that there like that. And I'm going to scroll down. And what I want is I want an overlay. So I'm looking for a background overlay if I can find one. So I'm going to go into style. And I'm going to go down here. So there's the background photo. And I mean, I can position. I could, I could have repositioned it if I wanted to. I can go top center, whatever. Um... But, you know, that's fine how I've got it there in fill. Here we go, background overlay. So I want to put a background overlay on this. There's a white background already behind the image. So I might go a white ov overlay. So I'm here, um, overlay type color. If you click in there, you've got gradient. You can have a gradient color if you want, but I'm just going to go color. Um, I want a full overlay, so I want it to go over the whole lot. But you can section the overlay. So you can go, you know, half overlay right, half overlay left, um, vertical overlay left, vertical overlay right. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go full overlay. And I'm going to go into here and I'm going to try a white overlay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to... Drag this down here to lighten it. All right. And I'm going to have a look at that and see if I like that. So I'm going to drag this out of the way. Okay, there you go. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to save it. And then I might, you know, um, go in and make this even bigger here. Save. And I mean, if you want more, you know, less image and more definition with your overlay, you can just go back in. Just let that load for a second. Sorry, my internet's a bit slow, but anyway, you get the picture. I'm going to come down to the overlay and I've got the overlay color here. I mean, you can quite easily change the overlay color if you want. But I mean, if you want um, less picture, you can, you know, just start dragging that up there like that. There you go. Save that. 
And there you go. If you're happy with that, you can leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to play around with it too much more because I want to show you how to actually do this now. So then we're going to click on done up here and we're going to publish this. So I'm going to click on done and I'm going to click publish. And then I'm going to go into my menus. And I'm going to disable my menus. So I'm going to disable all of my menus. Um, so that's the main menu, right? So I was on the main menu. I'm going to save. I just disabled it there and I'm going to save menu. And I'm going to go to the menu here and I'm going to go to my footer menu and I'm going to select. You, yours will probably say um, legal or something like that. I don't know, but, you know, um, see, this is the legal pages. I'm going to disable that there. So none of the boxes tick down. I'm just going to click save. I mean, I can click completely delete these menus and recreate them later if I want, but I don't, I don't quite want to do that. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, you know, make sure you, you save your menu when you do it. Like when you untick the box there, make sure you save your menu. Excuse me. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to oh, settings and I'm going to go to reading. And I am going to go here and I'm going to go select. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to select. And now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to find that um, under construction page. Here it is, under construction. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to save changes. And then theoretically speaking, the only page that should show should be there you go, my under construction page. So that's how you can create a coming soon under construction, whatever sort of page you want with your DBL site builder um, website. And then that way that page will stay up and then you can be in the back end here and you can create your pages. You can be working on your pages. You can even publish your pages and they won't show up on the front end of your website. Alrighty, so this is Sandra Lemming signing off. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, and reach out and ask me questions if you would like a video for any other part of the website that you just can't seem to find a solution for. Okay, bye for now.